Hi, this is Graham for Graham Build Stuff. Today I'm going to show you my technique for migrating your Maslow CNC from ground control to web control on a Raspberry Pi. There are a few reasons why you might want to do this. This apparently solves a USB connection issue that exists for some users of ground control. You also gain the convenience of wireless control, and not only that, you can actually use multiple wireless devices at the same time, such as a cell phone and a laptop. Let's get started. We're going to start by setting up the Raspberry Pi, and I've chosen to use the Raspbian Buster Lite operating system, so we're going to download that. We are also going to download Win32 Disk Imager. I'm also going to download PuTTY, which is an SSH and Telnet client that allows me to control my Raspberry Pi using another machine. I could control this with a monitor and a keyboard if I wanted to, but I don't have an HDMI monitor, so we're going to use PuTTY instead. And now we can unzip Raspbian. and install Win32 Disk Imager. I'll open the image file I just extracted. And I only have one flash drive. If you have more than one attached to your computer, make sure you select the correct one. Otherwise, everything on the drive will be overwritten. Now we remove the micro SD card from the drive and reinsert it. And as you see, the drive now appears and we can access it. I'm going to create a file on the boot partition called SSH. That will enable the SSH server. Now I'm ready to eject my SD card and install it in my Raspberry Pi and plug it in. The next thing I'm going to do is SSH into the Raspberry Pi. To do that, I need to know what its IP address is. First, I need to find the IP address of my router. So I'm going to open a command prompt window by pressing the start menu, which you can't see, and typing CMD. And I can type ipconfig to find my default gateway which is 192.168.1.1. Your router's user interface might look a little bit different from this, but that's all right. Just follow your router manufacturer's instructions to find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. And it's named itself Raspberry Pi, so that makes it easy to figure out. There's the IP address. Default username is Pi. Default password is Raspberry. And it is telling us we are using the default password and that we should change it. Now I'm going to use the Raspi config tool to enable Wi-Fi. I'm also going to change my host name so that I can identify this easier on the network. Now we're ready to install web control. And it says change 920 to the latest release if you want, which is... Test shutdown of our Pi 9331, that's what we want. Right click for paste. Right click for paste.
All right, we're done here. Now it's time to take it out to the shop and hook it up to the Maslow CNC. All right, here we are in the shop. We've got the Raspberry Pi plugged in, turned on, and ready to go. We're going to reconnect to it, but we have to find out what its new IP address is, which it has, because now we're connected via Wi-Fi. 1.9, very good. Now I've noticed I need to make a small change to the um, web control service file to allow the web control service to start upon boot. Web control needs to be run with sudo. That looks good. Let's reboot it and see if it comes back. And there we go. Now, we have some configuration issues to deal with. This is a problem, but we can fix it. There we go. Now we are connected to the Maslow CNC. Now I'm going to import my configuration and if we do this right, I won't even need to recalibrate. All right, let's see if it runs. And it is as easy as that. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. My name is Graham for Graham Build Stuff, and this was how to migrate from ground control to web control for the Maslow CNC.